Hey Bills, welcome to this week's vlog. I am in a hurry. I have to go to the gym, and I'm already running late. I have to go to the gym, work out real quick, and then come back home, shower and change so I can go celebrate my brother's birthday. And I'm running late. I have to be ready by three, and it is like 11.30. Um, so it's gonna be pushing it, because today's leg day. So I don't, I love being in a hurry. I love rushing. Nothing quite like rushing. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see me. This is what I'm wearing today. Okay, so let's go work out. Come home and get ready so we can go. So I'm waiting for my brother so we can go to Starbucks because he wants me to try this um, this Labrador matcha drink. I just got down to the gym. So I'm gonna go there, do that. Then I go home and shower and change. I can't wait to see. Oh, it's not bad at all. Uh, it tastes like Earl Grey tea almost. I was sure. I was sure I was going to hate it. But it's good. It looks like vanilla too. Okay, let's go. So I made it home. I have 55 minutes to get ready. I'm stressed out. So I'm going for like a really dramatic look. It was inspired by, I'm gonna put a picture of the girl here. This look was just so dramatic. I don't have the pieces that she has, of course. So I just had to make my own look inspired by her. But like, it's gonna be extra gothic glam. I'm mad cause I don't have my nails done. I wanted to have like long black nails. I just don't have time. I have 55 minutes to get ready. So I have to go shower, touch up my makeup do a little, little bit of styling on my hair nothing major um and then get ready um life is crazy right now you guys i cannot even put it into words like i still have to put up last week's vlog i'm starting my new vlog and i still gotta put up last week's vlog i started editing it but things have been so crazy the last few days that i haven't had a chance to finish editing it and putting it up and you guys are asking me where, where the vlog is at and i feel so bad because i filmed i have the footage i just gotta find time to get it edited Today's busy, tomorrow's busy. I'm like, I need to get the vlog up because then they're gonna be overlapping and I don't want that. Then I don't want you guys waiting and I said I'm gonna get, now, now I was saying I'm gonna put up more content this month. And I've just been so freaking busy. So, and this week is going to be, well, I wanna say crazy, but we're gonna be outside this week, which you, you're gonna see in the vlog, but. <sighs> and then at the gym today, oh dude, like, oh my God. I'm gonna text him because like I, I told him I'm comfortable going out as friends, so I need to go ahead and bite the bullet and give him my number, but God, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I said, God, I'm just going to put the situation in your hands because I don't know what's going on. <sighs> All right, I'm going to get ready, and I'll come back and show you guys my look because I need to hurry up. I'm running out of time. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, don't freak out because I know that this is not how you're used to seeing me, but... I gotta let my little goth side out here and there. Okay, so let me show you how this looks. Oh, I'm so nervous. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot, but I am just, I'm in love. I like to dress like, well, back when I used to dress, cause now all I wear is gym clothes. I used to like dress in themes. So like if I wanted to be like, like a brat doll or a hippie-ish kind of girl, like I like to dress in themes. So today's theme is like Asian goth. So yeah, I, like I said, I didn't have everything the girl had in the video, but I think I made it work. She had this cute little vested thing on and I had like this rope belt with like all these little metallic things on there. I thought it was really cute. And then like she had a button down shirt on. I didn't want to do a button down shirt. And I remember I had this shirt, which I've never worn before. 
So I said what word is. But I think it's cute. It's gonna be so fun. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to get some pictures. I want side. But yeah, that's today's look. Oh, it's Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
I don't know. Today was a good day. Went to the mall with Berica. <sighs> I was so mad because like, this company reached out to me yesterday morning. But I didn't see it until 3 a.m. last night. I'm like, what are the odds of this? It was um, a store in the Mall of America. They wanted me to come out. The Museum of Illusion or something like that. I'm going to get this bill off. But they wanted me to come out and, and share my experience and everything. And they wanted to know like when I wanted to come out and what time or whatever. How many tickets I would need. And I'm so mad because I didn't see it till 3 a.m. last night. I'm like, I'm coming to the Mall of America tomorrow, actually. How perfect would that be? But I haven't heard back from them today. So I'm like, that was, a, that was a missed opportunity. But it's something to do in the future if they do reach back out again. I don't know what it is. I don't know if because I'm getting older or what. But, like, the mall is just, like, it's the mall. Like, it's not really, I don't know. Like, we had fun at the anime place that we went to, but... I don't see myself, like, going there a lot. But, like, I do want to go to that museum because, like, I was, I was actually researching that museum a couple days ago before um, they reached out to me. So, I don't know if there's, like, some kind of tracking going on. But they knew. I don't know. Or if it's just it's all coincidence. But I thought that was really freaking hilarious. I got to go call my friend and check up with her because I was supposed to call her um, when I get back home. I'm really tired, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call her. I'm going to call her. I'm going to be diligent because, like, I'm trying to be building these friendships. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do that, and I'll probably just see you guys tomorrow, because like, I think I'm gonna sleep early tonight. <laughs> All right, bye. It's still Wednesday. I was on the phone with my friend, and we just chit-chatting, having a good old time, and I was like feeling convicted, because I'm like, mostly you need to get your vlog edited. You got to get your orders together from your sale. <sighs> I'm like, I can do it tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I can do it later. I cannot do it tomorrow. Tomorrow is jam-packed. And I was like, no, I'm just going to stay on the phone. We're having a good conversation. So I go in the kitchen to make some ice water because you guys know I, I got to have my water. I got to. Matter of fact. Anyways. I love it. I love it so much. Anyway, so I'm making my water. Got the ice in there. It's looking delicious. I go to put the lid on it so I can, like, close it and start sucking it down when I'm so thirsty. I go to put the lid on it. I don't know what happened, but it goes boom. Ah! Ice, water, everywhere. Every and this is a big tumbler, if you guys can see. It's huge. It holds a lot. Ice and water is everywhere all over the counter the toaster the bread box all over the floor all over my shoes like <sighs> i'm like girl you know what i just made a hot mess with this water i'm gonna i'm gonna have to talk to you later <laughs> like god has been convicting me about making sure i am working when i'm supposed to be working i did that tiktok fast this weekend on saturday and sunday was it saturday and sunday I can't remember what day it was, but I, th I think it was Saturday and Sunday. But I did a two-day TikTok fast, and it was, like, the most hardest thing ever. It was, like, detoxing off of a drug. And um, I was so productive during that time. Like, I, w I had so much productivity, even though I'm not supposed to be working on weekends. I'm, I'm supposed to be off on weekends, but I was working, baby. <laughs> I'm like, God, I hear you. I hear you. So I'm going to go ahead and, by the grace of God, Get this vlog, not the one I'm filming right now, the one from last week. Get that one finished with editing. I pray I can do it. It's a hundred minutes of footage that I have to condense down. I think I was almost done with editing, but I have to go back, rewatch it, retweak things. You know, like, it's a process. That'll probably be like another hour or two to get that completed. Um, so I got to do that. And then I got to get these, these orders ready for my closet. I had a closet sale on Facebook the other day. And you guys came in like a swarm. But I didn't think it was going to move that quick. Everybody's like, bing, bing, bing. I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. I'm like, oh my, I almost started crying. Because like, it has been such a slow month. Like with sponsorships, I don't know what's going on. I've it, It's never really been this dry. And I'm like, Lord, I need finances. I need finances. I'm like, listen, hello, closet. So you have so much stuff you still need to post. I still got some more stuff I have to post. Still have some more stuff I need to post. But anyways, um, I did a closet sale and you guys would just hit me up. I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. I'm like, oh my god. But um, almost 
everything so like almost everything i'm so grateful you guys like i would like, tell you something when the money start getting low i start praying even harder like i'm already praying but when the money get low i'm like god it ain't gonna happen if you don't do it it ain't gonna happen if you don't do it so yeah but i was just so grateful for that we have a lot of knowledge when it comes to like getting in contact with brands or setting up sponsorships or whatever i wanted to have a manager but i don't think i'm up there just yet to have a manager to have to have them take care of that besides you know i don't know anyways i'm on a tangent i need to go so um but yeah thank you guys for shopping my closet sale i got that mess cleaned up i need to work and get this stuff done because it's late i gotta go to the gym in the morning tomorrow we're outside again <sighs> all right all right bye guys good night hey guys so it is so at this thursday i'm on my way to the gym um, I'm, I'm sort of out of it. Like, I went to bed last night at 3 a.m., got up at 7.30, went back to sleep for an hour, and, like, yeah, I was up late last night working on my vlog, and, like, this is, like, the day two of me editing that vlog, and it will not save. It will not save. So, now I gotta find some time, probably tonight. This vlog is gonna be so late, and I'm so angry, but, um, I go to the gym, come home, shower, change, and I'm going out with my brother again. It's day two of his birthday celebration. So like, I probably won't get home until later on tonight. So I'm gonna try to fix it tonight. I don't know why it won't save. Um, so I probably won't be able to get up till tomorrow, which is Friday, like the 15th. I'm like, girl took everything in me not to cry last night. I was up until 3 a.m. working on this video. I was just so mad because it won't save. But, um, I'm just gonna worry about that later on, but I need to go to the gym. I'm using my little tripod thing. I don't know if you guys can see me, but this is what I'm wearing today. My period started this morning. Normally I don't go to the gym on the first day because if you know, you know, but I wanna go cause like, it's been like a really on and off week. We're going to the gym this week cause I've been so busy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go anyway, this is arm day, thankfully. So I ain't gotta do like no leg exercises. I need an energy drink. I really do. So I probably will end up getting one of those too. Anyways, let's get going. I still haven't done my nails yet. Still. <sighs> Let me go. Let me go. I said I go home and change. So, yeah. So I went to the gym. And I don't know if I should have went today because my mind is just not there. I went, today was supposed to be arm and back day. I was there for like maybe an hour and I left. I didn't even do cardio today. Let me run. I did walk home, but normally I do like maybe two or three hours at the gym. And that's including cardio. But I was just so just stressed out the entire time that I was there. And I'm like, like, I feel like, you know, I know I'm on this journey with God. You guys know. Um, I just feel like yet again, I'm in another test. And this is a very extremely difficult one that I'm finding it very hard to pass. Um, last month and this month, my sponsorships have been like so dried up, like so very far in between. And I'm not used to that. And so like, that's how I pay my bills. So I have been like, just thinking about it, thinking about it. Like I've always been a person that had a job um, that has relied on my own self for money. Like I don't even ask my siblings for money. I have like four siblings and I never ask them for money or anything. And I don't know if it's like a pride thing or something like that, but like I always rely on myself when it comes to my finances. And I feel like God is like trying to choke that part off so that I'm more dependent on him, that I build my faith in him, that I don't look at what I have or what's coming in, that I look at him. And it is, it is testing me to such an extreme that I cannot even put it into words. And I'm like, Melissa, if you have faith and you trust God, you shouldn't be stressed out. But I'm like, how am I not stressed out when I can see this obstacle in front of me? You know what I mean? Like, do you understand what I mean? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I, I, I know a lot of people are going through the same thing. Like just, how am I gonna pay this one? How am I gonna do this? Like, you know, just stressed out and I am stressed out. And I'm like, why is this a test right now, God? Like, I ain't got enough going on in every which direction of my life. Why am I going through this right now? I've, it's never been like this. I'm just, 
Lord, I trust you. Lord, I trust you. Then I'm like, I'm gonna go get a job. And I'm like, Melissa, how are you gonna get a job when you have to go out of town next month? Like, how are you gonna tell them that you gotta go out of town immediately? You know, that you have, that you need time off immediately. Then I'm like, how are you gonna work around people when you keep having panic attacks and you deal with anxiety and depression and being around people is one of your triggers? How are you? Then I'm like, man, I can get a work from home job. Then I'm like, everybody's trying to get a work from home job. Is there work from home jobs available? Then I'm like, I don't have any work history because I haven't worked at a job job outside of my house in like a decade. So it's like, I am cornered in. And the only thing that's going to get me through this is having faith, not in myself, but in God. And I'm just like, I don't need this test right now, God. But like, I have to release the anxiety. I have to release the fear. I have to release the self-reliance and self-dependency and put all of that into God. And this is like one of the biggest tests I have ever faced. And it is... I gotta pass it, you know. I gotta pass it. So I'm just trying to like after the gym. I'm like, just just work out the frustration. Just work it out. Then I'm like, I gotta go, cause like I'm gonna start crying in the gym, and I don't wanna start crying in the gym. And I, I just went outside, and the wind was blowing. The wind has been blowing for like the last two weeks. And I'm like, oh, thank you for the wind. Thank you for the wind, God. But I'm sharing my journey with you guys. We're gonna see what God gonna do. We're gonna see, cause. It ain't up to me. Lord, I release it. I release it. I have to get ready to leave to go with my brother and go celebrate his birthday part two. You know how hard it is to go celebrate when I'm feeling like this? I release it. And to all of y'all that are struggling financially, I really pray for a financial windfall over you. I really do. I really pray that God would just release the storehouses of heaven over you, that he would give you peace and calm, and that... You will not be worried anymore. I really just pray the release of this stress off of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, with that being said, I got to go shower again and get dressed. All right. Chaos. Chaos. <laughs>
town is beautiful. And all I see is like graffiti and whatnot. <laughs> This dang on phone all the time. Y'all, we should do a taste test, y'all. Chrissy, get you a barrel full strap. This was here. Cash. Guess who's back? He got a haircut and everything. You got a little haircut, Cash. You pull, yes, you do. You got a little haircut. Watch your little face. Your little face. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. You're so tiny. Look how tiny that baby is. You're little tiny little babies. Ooh. You got your haircut? Yeah. You got your hair cut. Look at those eyes. Your eyes are so big, Cash. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, little babies. You're so tiny. Wee. Right, these are freaking good. These are orange Kit Kats. We couldn't do the, the that's demon flavor. That's definitely a Oh, it's carbonated. Oh, 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 oh. We did the, um, the cheese Doritos. They were, they were really good. Mm-hmm. It's right here. I've been eating it without showing y'all, but hey guys, it is uh Friday. I haven't checked in today. I just got back from the store. I had to go get a birthday gift. I'm going to a brunch tomorrow. <sighs> People I don't know. But like I said, I'm trying to get out, so I'm gonna make myself go, even though the anxiety is trying to come up. But we're gonna fight it. Um, but I just got back. Oh, let me show you guys my outfit. You guys have seen this outfit before, but. It goes cashy poo. This is what I'm wearing today. I need to find what I'm wearing tomorrow. And I need to get the birthday gift packaged up. And then I need to try again to get this video saved. It will not save. I'm probably going to get like back to back vlogs this week. But like I've been trying for three days to get this video saved. It's already edited and everything. I'm just like, it will not save. <sighs> oh, why I do my nails too? Oh my god, I forgot I gotta do my nails. Cash, you're so cute. You're so cute. You got all your hair cut off. You're so cute. You're gonna mess my pants up, Cash. You're so cute. I love you. Okay, hold on. I'll come, I'll come down to you. I'll come down to that babies. You're so precious. So we missed that babies, didn't we? We missed that babies. Yes, we did. We missed that babies. I love you. I'm not waste my time Jumping all the way in too deep I hope you're not missing these signs Cause I wanna keep you close to me I had to turn my shirt around Cause my boobs are like spilling out Like spilling out So like I'm wearing a bodysuit I had to turn it around It's like now it's like smashing my butt down But we ain't gonna go there The outfit is still eating her. Okay. What you want? You want? Should we bring here? Come on. Yeah. Oh, I got you. I got you. Girl, I, I, girl, listen, it's just beautiful. That is so and she said it both cool. and people see the, the, the lettuce is not. Mm -hmm. And those are micro That's just beautiful. I 
Like whenever I'm eating, he'll go get his food and start eating. And keep in mind, his food is over there. <clears throat> so he brings it over here to eat. <laughs> so he brings it over here to eat with me. Yo, why I meet up with my mom and we dressed alike? <laughs> Again, the same thing happened yesterday. But the same thing happened yesterday. We're both wearing blue. God, we both got on denim. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We both got on denim and African. Girl. It happens all the time. Unplanned. Unplanned. Hello, darlings. Hey, say hello. It's crazy to me. So I wanted to come on here because I feel like I have been, like, rushing in this vlog. So I haven't really been able to talk to you or share things with you, yada, yada, yada. Um, it's been a busy week. As you've seen, I think the last time I saw you guys was yesterday, which was brunch. Um, the woman that is holding a conference that I'm going to next month. Oh my God. She is, it was her birthday. We were had, a, so we had like a birthday brunch, which I was nervous about because you guys know I don't do socialization. There was going to be like 15 people there. So, um, I was nervous at first, but when I got there, I was so freaking comfortable. Everybody was so nice. We had such a great time. I mean, like, just talking, um, sharing stories. Um, one woman gave, like, a message that was so freaking encouraging. I wish I could have recorded it. I don't know. I didn't even think to record it. Well, I, didn't, I didn't know she was going to be giving a word. It was just, like, something that happened. But, um, she gave such an incredible word that was so encouraging about, Realizing how God wants to bless us. You know God loves us and he wants to do great things for us. But I never really like sit there and really think about it. Because I always feel like I need to earn things from God. And you can't you can't earn things from God. God's going to give them to you or he's not. You can't like, I'm going to do this good deed and do this good deed and God's going to bless me for it. That's not how it works. I never really take the time to like, really think about how God views us and how he wants to pour into us. And he does. He, that's, that's his desire. Like, he has so many ideas about who we are and what he wants us to accomplish. And he sees such potential in us. And all he thinks about is ways to love on us and to bless us. And she talked about that. And it was just like, oh. But anyway, I had a great time. We had a ton of food. I recorded a little bit. But I didn't want to record too much because, like, people aren't there to be in my vlog. You know what I mean? But, oh, my God. It was such a great environment. I, I feel like everybody that was there was meant to be there. So we had a ton of food. Like, oh my God, so much food. It's such good tea. There was this tea I had there, this raspberry hibiscus tea. Oh my God, you know what? It's from Target. I've been to Target twice today. I could have got it. I forgot about it just now. So tomorrow, <laughs> we gotta go get it. But it's raspberry hibiscus tea with just a little bit of honey in there. Oh my. I was rushed. She, the woman hosting the party, she used her mother's tea set. Her mother, her mother just passed away, unfortunately. And so she wanted to use her mother's tea set. And it was just absolutely gorgeous. The most gorgeous tea set. And I was like, I'm going to be very careful. Because, like, for one thing, it's a tea set out of China. You know, automatically you want to be careful with it. But considering that her mother just passed and this is, like, a part of her mom, I was like, I got to be very delicate with this stuff. But, yeah, it, it was comfortable. But I had a really good time. Um, I just got back home from church. I ate some lunch. I had chicken and potatoes and broccoli. Church was good. It was like really informative, educational. Pastor was showing us different traits of people that Moses had to deal with when he was bringing them from um, Egypt into the promised land. And he was giving us these personality types. But like, at first I'm like, okay, I'm just taking notes because it's educational. But I'm like, do I see myself in these personality traits? Um, one of them was um, a manipulator. I don't feel like I'm a manipulator. I don't feel like that. Because I'm like, unless I want to manipulate you to like bring me home because <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. But like, no, I don't see myself as a manipulator or a, um, what do you say, a protagonist? I don't see myself as those. One of them was a person that isolates or feels like an orphan. And of course, me miss isolation. And then um, another one was a person that complains. I do realize that I complain a lot. Because I want things in my life to change. And I'm like, Lord, this is going on. This is going on. This is going on. Rather than just praising him in advance for what he's about to do. But I saw myself in those two characteristics. There were, I think there were six of them. I wrote them down, thank God, I took notes. Because I want to go back and study on this. But I was just like, God always trying to put things out to you that you need to work on within yourself to get to the next level. So I, I got some of that today. But yeah, church was really, really good. Really, really good. But anyways, I need to go clean my beauty room up because it is a hot dirty mess i just clean my beauty room 
the same day that I changed my room around, um, the day before that, I had one in and cleaned my beauty room up. And now it is a hot, dirty mess. So I'm going to go do that. Get ready. I need to find out when I'm going to the gym tomorrow. I haven't been to the gym since... Thursday? Thursday. I was planning on going on Saturday, but then I forgot that I had the brunch. And by the time I got home, I got home late, like... Five o'clock. I don't go to the gym at night. <laughs> no, no. So um, then I was like, I'm gonna go today to his church. So I'm going tomorrow because like I feel I ain't gonna lie. I was sort of mad that I couldn't go. But I was like, Melissa, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. But I'm, I'm gonna be on it this week, and I'm gonna try to go like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or whatever. Because it's supposed to snow later on this week. Hopefully not. We're gonna see. But yeah, I need to get that stuff done, and then finally I went to the gym tomorrow. Um, take off this wig. Because it is heavy and hot. And um, I might check it with you guys later. We'll see. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, you are. You're so cute, Cash. You're so tiny. These are little babies. These are little babies. Thank you for my kisses. I just did. I, I didn't show you guys my nails. I, I got to show you guys a close-up of my nails. I just did my nails so they're, like, really sharp. So he's going to love that. Pick you up. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love that babies. Hey guys, I don't know how this looks because I'm holding my phone. Anyways, um, today is Monday. I'm on the way to the gym. Today is uh, leg day, so I'm excited about that. I'm so excited. I haven't been to the gym in so long, but it is absolutely freezing outside. The temperature has really dropped the last few days and it's been like super duper windy. So I don't look forward to this walk, but I wanna go. Um, but I'm excited to go work out. The last thing was going on with this hair. Don't, don't ask me. It's a lot of hair. I tried this new curling technique. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, I barely got any sleep like the last four days. So Melissa is very tired. I have a pre-workout drink, thank God, because I'm going to need it. But like I've had like so little sleep just because I've been so busy. And of course, because of Cash, because Cash makes it very hard to sleep at night. But I love him, so I deal with it. But yeah, I'm running on fumes right now. So I'm gonna see what I can do at the gym. Hopefully the pre-workout drink kicks in and gives me some energy, but we're gonna see. So guys, I'm eating my lunch. I have um, some rice, <laughs> some jasmine rice, some broccoli, chicken, and cheese, and then some sriracha on top. <laughs> this is my lunch for today. And then, of course, of course, of course. Just look at him. I downloaded the um, the Bible app, and um, there's like devotionals and plans on that you can do every day. So I have this devotional, and what I wanted to do, because you guys know I'm working on my glow up, my changing of my life, and so one of the plans I found was um, learning how to love yourself, and I, I feel like I struggle with that. Like it's it's weird. I don't know how to, to really describe it. Like sometimes I look at myself and I'm like. Melissa, you're amazing. You're incredible. You deserve this, this, and this. And then when things start happening that are blessings that are good, I'm like, I don't deserve this. Like, why would I get that? Because I don't deserve it. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. But it's like I can see so much value and worth in myself. And then at times I feel undeserving or... I could be better to deserve them. Does that make any sense? I don't know. The insecurities, like I think all of us at some degree have something that we battle with that makes us insecure. Um, so like, the, it's like a weird war in my mind where sometimes I'm like, oh, mostly you're amazing. And I love myself. And then there are times I really don't, you know? So like my devotional today was really focusing on that and it was speaking about how we're supposed to love our neighbor like we love ourselves, And I really had to look at myself and be like, <laughs> if I battle with loving myself, how have I been loving others? And don't get me wrong, even with the whole isolation thing and um, cash is just, I don't know, let me pick you up. Oh, 
Dang, he can jump. Jesus, that just scared me. That just scared me. Um, who was I saying? Oh, yeah, but, like, I'm like, how have I been loving others? Like, in what way, shape, or form? And I feel like, if anything, I love others more than I love myself. Like, I feel like, maybe it's, it's performative. I don't know. But I feel like when I try to um, get to know people or make friendships or whatever, that I'm extra sweet, extra caring, you know, I'm always listening and um, pouring out myself for other people. And then I'm like, that could be true, but you need to turn that around to yourself. Like the same way you're loving other people, you need to love yourself with that same gentleness and that same kindness. But like what really hit me is um I was thinking about my past relationships that I've been in and like right now the way I view getting into a relationship and being with somebody, I know what I want, even though I battle with, oh I want this and this and this and I've been waiting for this and this and this. But now I'll be like, do I deserve it? You know? But then I think back on the relationships that I was in previously and I feel like now that I have more knowledge and more understanding of who I am, I feel like I settled for a lot of the relationships I was in. I feel like at the time I knew I deserved more, but I didn't want to acknowledge it. And when I think back, I remember there were so many parts of myself that I held back from sharing with those people that I was with because I felt like they were not deserving of my fullness. Does that... Does that make sense? Like, I I would feel like, oh, I want to do this, this, and this, and this for this person. But I'm like, they don't deserve this. Then I'm like, I want to share this part of me with them. And I'm like, no, they don't deserve this. Why would I with somebody who I felt didn't deserve all of me? You know, that that is so weird for me to even think about. I mean, there were so many times I held back huge parts of myself. That I wanted to share with this person. But I'm like, they're not going to appreciate that. They don't deserve that. They don't deserve to see this part of me. Like, they're not worth that. That is crazy. It's just wasted time. I'm not not with these people anymore, you know. Eventually, I grew out of the relationship. Maybe because I I saw the fact that it wasn't going to be something long-lasting and worth it. But it's weird. God will give you so many warnings. Like, when you ask him about the people in your life. But he would give you warnings and signs. And, like, it would be so hard to let these people go. And God is like, I'm trying to bless you with better. I'm trying to bless you with more. And not only that, God's trying to give you some blessings that he wants you to have. But he can't give them to you while you're with that person. Because that blessing is not for that person. It's not for you to share with that person. So, like, the same way I couldn't share parts of myself with the people that I was with in the past... In the same way that God can't give you the certain blessings that he has for you because he doesn't want you to give those blessings to that person because those blessings are not for that person. And so we limit ourselves so much by holding tight to people and things that we have no business um, interacting with anymore. And I was just sitting here like, I don't know, God just being like punching me in the head with just all this knowledge. Cash, are you eating the lotion off my hand? He could never just sit still. He can he can never just sit still. But anyways, it it's just been a lot of things that God has been hitting me with, and I'm just like, Lord, this is a lot. I really need to start like really journaling, journaling, because like I want to have all this information so that in the future when I look back, I'm like, this is what he was talking about. This is what he was showing me. Okay, baby, 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 baby. Come here. There we go. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. It's okay. It's okay. Why are you so hyper? You just want to play, huh? I'm going to go in there and play with his toy with him. Because I, I think he wants to play. <laughs> he cracks me up. He has so much energy. I mean, like, when I was telling you guys earlier, if... If you're thinking about getting a Yorkie, you better make sure you got energy, some kids, some other dogs, something for them to do. Because he has so much energy. And, like, he'll be asleep. He'll wake up. And vroom, 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 vroom. All over the place. So, like, I'm, I'm going to go play with this toy with him. I got to stretch. 
anyways, I just wanted to drop that little tidbit into the vlog. Hopefully, it's helpful for somebody. Like, just really evaluate the, uh, the friendships and the relationships that you're in. Make sure that the people that you surround yourself with are worthy of receiving your fullness. Uh, make sure you're not dragging people alone that are hindering the blessing and the movement of God in your life. If God is giving you signs and warnings, especially if you are praying for God to give you signs and warnings and you are ignoring them, honey, you are setting yourself up for a world of pain. Even right now, like the friendships and the people that are trying to talk to me, I'm with God. If it's for me, let it happen. If it ain't for me, remove it from my life. Show me, show me, show me. Guys, look at my hair. I saw this thing on TikTok about putting some flexi rods in your hair. And it's like the most simplest technique. Like, all you gotta do is put two of them in here. I put three of mine because I got a lot of hair. I have to, I gotta figure this out. It's pretty. I mean, literally guys, all I did was put like three of these in there. Oh, it's gorgeous, though. Is it not cool? Oh, it smells so good. My perfume is in my hair from yesterday. It smells so good. <sighs> okay. Let me stop playing. I had to go to the gym. I can't believe this. All these beautiful curls. All I did was put two, three flexi rods in my hair. And some water. Just a little bit of water. Like a little, just make it a little damp. <sighs> okay, let me, let me stop. Let me stop. So, guys, this is the look today. Way more sexy and dramatic than I planned on because my hair just curled crazy. I mean, it's so big. You would think I spent hours curling my hair and I didn't do anything except pit three flexi rides in my hair last night and went to sleep. That was it. Oh, and some water. Just a little bit of water. But this is what I'm wearing today. And on the back, I have my um, Barbie sweatshirt. Oh, yeah, this is... <laughs> Okay, today is arm day, so we ain't gotta do a lot of bending, just a little bit. I gotta get on that bench to do two different workouts that I have to bend over for, so I'm covering up my butt today. I, I'm gonna be covering my butt up whenever I wear this outside, because it's just so, it makes the body pop. It makes the body pop, and I don't want that much attention. So, um, yeah. But yeah, let's go to the gym. So I'm trying to secretly record, but this guy set up his machine, or his bench, I should say right behind me like the whole area is practically free for except for like one or two guys why behind me and maybe he didn't mean anything by it but why right behind me i mean literally like I, I could step back like two feet and i'm like in his lap and the other people in the area left and he still stayed there so i just had to move my bench so that i felt comfortable i just got so irritated when this happens Hey guys, I made it home. Guys, it was so windy on the walk home from the gym that my lash, like it just came up. And it's just flying in the wind. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I, I took them both off and just put them in my purse. But I'm like, it's so windy. Like this is like the perfect hairstyle for this week because it's just flying back and forth all over my head. But it's, 
as cash. It's been windy for like the last two weeks, like high, heavy wind for like two weeks almost. I'm like, what is going on with this weather? <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm home now. I need to eat per usual. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just started eating and forgot I didn't show you guys. So I just made a wrap with one of my protein wraps. And then I have like ground chicken, peppers, onions, spinach, cheese. Um, I think that's everything. So I have that inside of here. And I crumbled up a couple of these and put it on there for like a crunch. So good. The hit of lime is really like making it pop. So guys, right now I'm in my beauty room sorting through stuff that I want to keep and sell. Yada, yada. I keep pulling stuff out of my closet that I want to wear. And when I put it on, it's too big. One of which is this skirt. I have it tied up to keep it up. Um, it's so beautiful. I had this for like maybe a year or two. I've never wore it. When I first saw it, I just loved it so much. And I've never worn it. And it's so absolute. Look at, you see how much material this is? Oh, it's so beautiful. This shirt is too big. I got it wrapped. I mean, I got it wrapped. I haven't long come taking pictures with it once so I can sell it. But like, everything I put on is like way too big. Like this skirt is literally falling off of my waist, which is crazy to me. I never got a chance to wear it. It's so beautiful. My African skirt that I wore the other day, it was the same way. It's like falling off my waist. And like I kept tripping over it all day long. But I just can't let that one go. But this one I'm going to let go. Because I, I never wore this one before. The African print one I, I have wore before. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys. Can't really see the color that good. Because the camera is like not showing it. Which is weird. But the color is sensational. Sort of see it better this way. The color is everything. Okay guys, so this is my dinner tonight. It's been hours. I've been working. It's late. It's like 8.30 at night. <laughs> Anyways. But I have rotisserie chicken, two small pieces of bacon. I weighed out my Parmesan cheese. And then I'm going to put a sprinkling of this on there. Probably some sriracha sauce too. But yeah, that's going to be dinner today. So it's like a lot of protein. I mean, that's like a lot of freaking protein. Like this by itself is just 12. A chicken, it's like four ounces of chicken. I probably had to split this in half or eat it in two meals because this is going to be a lot. Anyways, yeah, this is dinner. Bye, guys. Uh, let me take my thoughts together for a second.